again, my name is Gabe Zona. This is the 26th of January 2019. Article on the Huff Post, written by Lee Moran, M O R A N. Title Fox News Sean Hannity issues warning to people saying Donald Trump caved. Quote You really don't know the Donald Trump I know. End of quote. Hey, Sean, did you know that he you know, went ahead and did what he did with Stormy Daniels and Karen McDougal, huh? And according to his attorney, Rudy Giuliani, Rudy Giuliani even said, who knows how many other girls got paid. You can't make this stuff up, folks. So I don't know what Sean knows about Donald, or maybe just Sean knows what Donald wants Sean to know about Donald. Many right-wing figures line up Friday night to criticize President Trump for temporarily ending the government shutdown for three weeks without having convinced Congress to fund this proposed U.S.-Mexico border wall. You know what this border wall is? This border wall is nothing but distract, divert, and deceive. That's all it is. How long do you think it would take to build a wall 2,000 miles long? Hmm? Two years? Uh, I mean, how long would you think it would take? Three years? It's nothing more than a diversion. That's all it is. Controversial commentator Sam Coulter, uh, Ann Coulter, I think it's really Sam Coulter, called Trump the biggest wimp ever to serve as president. And Fox host Lou Dobbs said Trump had been whipped by House Speaker Nancy Pelosi. Mm, Democrat, California. Fox News, Sean Hannity, however, had a different take. The Hannity host, who was a staunch supporter of the president and even joined him on stage at a Missouri rally ahead of the 2018 midterms, insisted that Trump still holds all the cards when it comes to negotiating with Congress for the wall. Really? He holds all the cards, right? <laughs> Hannity claimed that Trump would simply declare a national emergency to obtain the funds. He should have done that before the shutdown that impacted 800,000 Americans. He should have done it before. And even now he threatened that he might still shut it down. Or he might decide to declare a national emergency. The guy's a complete joke. An absolute joke. Anyone out there, by the way, thinking President Trump caved today, you don't really know the Donald Trump I know. You mean the guy that grabs him by the pussy? Huh? You mean that Donald Trump? Hannity claimed in a clip shared online by Media Matters, he will secure the border one way or another. Well, he probably will never secure the border because he won't be in office long enough, even if he went ahead and declared a national emergency and found the funds. You're not going to build 2,000 miles of wall over the weekend. It's just not going to happen. So he won't secure the border. And what's going to happen in 2020, because of Trump's antics telling us, you're going to learn everything about the JFK assassination. I'm going to release all the documents. They weren't released. Mexico's going to pay for the wall. Mexico didn't pay for the wall. I'm going to sign a reciprocity agreement, so if you got a concealed carry, it'll be good anywhere. What happened with that, huh? <laughs> I could go on, but are you sort of getting the point? Trump has lost total credibility. And what I think is going to happen is he's going to be impeached. And he's going to be impeached over Stormy Daniels and Karen McDougal because he lied. He lied. No different than Billy Bob. I did not have sex with that woman. Again, Trump should have fessed up and said, hey, it's nobody's business. It's between Meliana and me, period. But he didn't. And he's going to pay the price. The guy doesn't know what he's doing. William Barr was in George Bush's administration. William Barr didn't feel that the Patriot Act went far enough. William Barr's is buddy with Bob. He calls him Bob. That's Robert Mueller. William Barr already said that 
Bad should complete his investigation. Trump doesn't know how to pick people. All right? His national security advisor, John Bolton, was in two previous administrations. He's a warmonger. He picked Rents Priebus as his first chief of staff. Absolutely insane. Priebus gave $153 million to Jeb Bush to beat candidate Trump. He doesn't know what he's doing. He relies on other people telling him who to select. He doesn't know what he's doing. And I'm tired of listening to this blowhard, Sean Hannity. Wake up, Sean! Wake up! You don't know him as well as you think you know him. Another big boo-boo of his was getting behind Prince Mohammed bin Salman and the murder of Gosagi, the decapitation and disposing of the body in acid. And his chief senior advisor, Jared Kushner, guy's an idiot. The crown prince will cut his head off in an instant. They hate Jews, but Jared is too dumb to understand that. Anyway, I've transgressed. I apologize. It's easy to do. And I am tired of listening to the Sean Hannity. I haven't watched Fox News in probably five months. I don't watch One American News Network either. All they do is regurgitate the same garbage. And that's all it is, is garbage. Thanks for listening. The link will be attached. Pass it along to your like-minded friends. Repost it in all your social media accounts.